so here we come. I saw a turn off here for the historic Fort Apache. It's supposed to be a little ways down this road. Wow, there's part of the upper White River, some cascades there. Because you know, in southern Arizona, you just don't see the riverbeds and stuff actually have rivers in them. Historic Fort Apache. There we go. Wow. had to bring you guys back up. I still haven't found the ruins yet. But uh <laughs> it's just the imagery here. Just so beautiful I had to, uh, to share this with you. Well I did not come across the ruins. Um, the museum was closed back at Fort Apache and uh, they don't give you access when the museum is closed. So I wasn't able to catch that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the funny story about the bee. I thought it was funny. Well, I thought it was funny after. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the scenery.
Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Arizona RE here on the last leg of my journey home from Pine Top. And uh, wow, how things have changed, huh? We were up in the majestic pine covered hills of Pine Top, the lakeside, Apache Sit Graves. We scraped through the, uh, the canyon and Salt River Canyon. And um, now the pine trees and live oaks have given way to cactus and rocks. And I made it back to Tucson just in time to experience Tucson's first 100 degree day of the year. <laughs> yep, that's right. It's about 100 degrees out right now. And, uh, yeah, it sure feels like it. I'm still wearing my touring jacket. It's a Revit Levante. Uh, with all the liners out and everything, it, it flows pretty good. You just got to keep moving. So this will bring an ending to the series for the Pine Top Adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much... Uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if you could have enjoyed it as much as I did. But, uh, however it works for you, I hope it was a good series, entertaining, fun to watch, all that good stuff. And there will be a couple of more videos about this ride, um, just covering some of the gear that I used, some of the techniques I used to pack, how it was I was able to pack so light what I was willing to live without, what I was willing to live with. Always have fresh socks and underwear. <laughs> fresh t-shirts. Uh, the pants probably, yeah, they withstood a, uh, an endurance test here, I'd say. But, no worse for the wear. Anyhow, I just wanted to pop on and say thank you guys. Alright YouTube. Thanks for coming along with me. I had a blast. Now I'm back in the heat. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. stupid f***ing idiot